Okay, let's do practice exercise 2. Question number 11. A very simple question, but somehow people tend to get this question wrong. So, let I thought let me pick this question up also. Ratio of incomes of A is to A and B is 3 is to 5. And the ratio of savings is 5 is to 3 of A and B. Whose saving is more? Now, this is a superfluous data. This does not, does not require the ratio of incomes. When I am given ratio of savings is 5 is to 3, that means savings of B, A will be higher than that of B. For every 3 rupees that B saves, A is saving 5 rupees. So, obviously, A should be the answer. But some of this question tends to confuse people because they are probably looking at ratio of income. There is a superfluous data that is not required. But since we are on this question, let me look at another question. That the ratio of income of A and B. Let me assume that is in the ratio of 5 is to 3. Ratio of saving is also in the ratio of 5 is to 3. Then what will be the ratio of the expenditures? Okay. So if I say the incomes are 5x and 3x and savings are 5y and 3y, then the ratio of their savings, uh, ratio of the expenditures, sorry, will be 5 into x minus y is to 3 into x minus y, or which is nothing but 5 is to 3. So if the ratio of income and saving is the same, the ratio of expenditure will also be the same. Or out of these three, if two of them have the same ratio, then the third one will also be the same. Let me take another case now. Ratio of income is 5 is to 3. Ratio of saving is 3 is to 5. And ratio of expenditure is... So, ratio of expenditure, again, let's do the same thing. 5x, 3y, 3x and 5y. Okay. This is for A and this is for B. So, ratio of expenditure will be 5x minus 3y is to 3x minus 5y. So, we do not know who's saving more, who's, whose expenditure is more. So, if, so, while here we could say very clearly because x minus y gets cancelled cancel out, in this particular question it may not be possible to say who, is, who out of the two A and B has a greater amount of expenditure. Thank you.